In this video, <clears throat> I'm going to be putting in the exhaust gas temperature probes. When you first get your engine, this hole where the exhaust gas temperature probe gets mounted, uh, right here, will have a cap on it. Now you'll need to take an Allen wrench and remove that cap, and underneath that cap will be a uh, washer, a compression washer. And you can see I've taken that washer, I've put it on the end of the probe there. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that probe into the hole and just kind of screw it down here. Now I'll try to do this with handling the camera. And, yeah, I'll just turn it by the wire here. There we go. Go ahead and screw that down in there. Now it's, it's, I'm going to go ahead and put that in and then I'll get back with you because it's hard to turn this thing with that wire wanting to turn. Maybe I can get it down there. Just till it tightens down. I need to take a number 11 metric wrench, 11, tighten down the set screw, the probe itself. And when it's seated in, let's see if I'm centered on it here. There we go. Uh, get up a little bit closer. There we go. And just about a quarter of a turn, about 25 inch pounds of pressure there. Then take and go ahead and tighten down this upper piece. Now I, it takes a number 13 metric wrench, which I don't have. So I'll just take my universal metric wrench here and tighten that down. And that's all there is to it. Then I go ahead and dress these wires down. Now I might want to add that you want to take the exhaust gas temperature wires and the cylinder head temperature wires and run them on the opposite side of the engine from where you're going to be running your ignition wires. Do not get the two mixed together because the AC signal generated in the coil will interfere with your exhaust gas temperature readings and give you an erroneous reading. So dress them away from each other until such time as you can get them into a bundle that is grounded. And we'll talk about that later in another video. There you go.